Head back. Hold on. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. What's up, Dad Coaster Co. viewers? We are here today in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We are super excited, super stoked here today at Dollywood. It has been forever, I mean forever since I've been in this park, probably almost 20 years or so. So I am so excited to be back at this park. I have yet to ride Lightning Rod, and it is closing here in about two weeks from now. So I'm super stoked to be here. Hopefully it does not go down today. Hopefully I'm able to get on uh, lightning rod to get that uh, last ride in before it transitions to the new uh, lift hill um, but super excited because uh, last time I was at this park I was so scared to ride anything I was so small um, so 10 coasters here I have ridden Blazing Fury before so um, definitely super excited to get back on that but to check out the other nine coasters that I did not ride and that they did not exist at all at this park uh, back when I went so many years ago so super stoked to get in this park today and see what all Dollywood has in store one of America's greatest theme parks. Beautiful park so far. Love seeing all this, seeing this in so many pictures and videos and stuff over the years. This is such awesome uh, touch here to this park right here. I think absolutely the first ride today for me is going to be Lightning Rod, uh, especially since you never know when that ride is gonna go down. Its reliability is just knowingly bad. So we're gonna make our way over here towards the uh, Lightning Rod entrance and see if we can get in line and get on it. And here we are at the entrance of Lightning Rod. We're about 30 minutes from the official opening of the park, but they have let us in. It's kind of interesting they don't do a rope drop here, I guess, because everybody's just you know walking up to the entrance of rides. So really hoping Lightning Rod is going to be running today. I did get out of line to go get a locker because I forgot to grab one at the front of the park when I came in. So once I got back from uh, getting a locker, the uh, line has grown. So this is what the line is looking like so far and we're still about 20 minutes away from the park opening. Alright, they have opened the doors to the queue, let's go. Alright y'all, so my first initial reaction just got off of a lightning rod and I honestly was a little underwhelmed. I don't know, just the first drop really kind of underwhelmed me overall. I think the uh, the airtime on the ride was uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, fantastic uh, bank turns and everything like that. I just, I don't know, it's just... I think I need to rewrite it just to get an, another, a second, a second chance to get another opinion on it. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic coaster, fantastic RMC. Uh, I think it's better than Outlaw Run at its sister park over at Silver Dollar City. Um, is it a top five RMC? Mm, I don't know. I think it's definitely top ten. But a uh, fantastic ride, just a little underwhelming for me. But again, hopefully I can ride it again today. I don't know. They're running one train. Uh, right now so and obviously it has problems when it runs multiple trains but uh we will see if i can get on it again later and i'll let you guys know if i uh, end up doing that we're next going to get on thunderhead one of the park's woodies Just got off a of Thunderhead. I was very impressed with this coaster. This Woody rode so smooth. 
The only thing is, it made a really weird screeching sound while I was going through its course a few different times. Other than that, very impressed with how it rode. Airtime was fantastic. Phenomenal Woody here at Dollywood. I think it might be underrated. Check out Thunderhead if you have a chance here. And just a little bit further down from Thunderhead is Mystery Mine. I'm gonna check this out. I think this will be another one that kind of surprises me and uh, ends up being a really good coaster here. I'll let you guys know what I think when I get off. Mystery Mine, that uh, Eurofighter was absolutely incredible. Definitely the best one I've ever been on. The theming was absolutely fantastic. Uh, a couple surprise elements in there, and then versions were fantastic as well. Uh, I heard that the ride was uh, rough, but uh, it actually ended up being uh, really smooth in my opinion. So uh, check out Mystery Mine, you will not be disappointed at all. Here's a look at the awesome entrance sign that represents Wild Eagle here at Dollywood. This is so cool. I guess really this is the entrance sign, but still the the ginormous eagle over there is pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Alright, just finished up a ride on Wild Eagle, and that was a fantastic B&M wing coaster. Uh, the first drop was really different from any other B&M uh, wing coaster. It just went kind of straight down like a traditional uh, coaster first drop, and it was just incredible. I rode on the very back row, great airtime, had a good number of inversions as well on the layout. Um, not a super long uh, duration to the ride, but uh, it was just enough. It wasn't too short either, so check it out. Wild Eagle, awesome being in wind coaster. We've kind of been flying around the park randomly yeah. today, but we've made it over here to the grist mill finally to grab some of that world famous cinnamon bread. I've tried it before over at Silver Dollar City, so excited to get some more here today at Dollywood. And here it is, folks. The beautiful, famous cinnamon bread here at Dollywood. You can get it with either apple butter or icing so uh or you can get both but it is so good you guys have to try it if you're either at dollywood or silver dollar city totally overlooked it earlier but there is blazing fury right over there i don't think i'm gonna get on that today because i've ridden it before uh back when i was here you know 20 something years ago uh so i don't really feel the need to ride it again at least this time Maybe next time I come back here, I will get on Blazing Fury. New game plan for now is to try to get on Fire Chaser Express as well as Big Bear Mountain as I am limited on time here in the park for the remainder of the day. All right, we've made it back to Fire Chaser Express. I'll just got off a fire chaser express i can see why people rave about this as a fantastic family coaster uh it is so much fun uh it doesn't have a crazy level of thrill but it is just very fun so much fun that the whole family can enjoy everybody can ride together the train goes both forwards and backwards there's a couple switch track moments on there as well so super fun check it out with the whole entire family i don't know if i have enough time to get on big bear mountain but i'll at least go back there and see if i can get some footage of the ride for you guys 
All right, here it is. We've made it back here to the Wildwood Grove in Big Bear Mountain. Some awesome theming and landscaping back here next to this coaster. Looks great. So I've been over here a few minutes and I've only seen Big Bear Cycle maybe once or twice while I've been over here. But this just looks really cool how the track just goes right under the waterfall and the rock work right here. This just looks really cool. I know there's some parts kind of like back there where there's not a whole lot of uh, theming with the coaster. How it just kind of sits on the hillside. But overall, this is a really nice area back here. I think I'm going to skip out on uh, Big Bear Mountain today. It is about a 50 to 60 minute wait. So I don't really have a... I don't really have enough time right now to do it, so I'll come back another day and hopefully catch it with some of the other uh, credits that I missed uh, on this trip to Dollywood. And I did swing back by here by Lightning Rod to see what the wait was. It is currently 90 minutes, so also passing on the second chance to light right Lightning Rod, but I am super grateful that I was able to get on this coaster today. Again, I, I feel like I was just a little underwhelmed by it, but it did have a lot of fantastic moments and i will say it is a fantastic rmc so i would highly recommend uh, checking it out if you come here to dollywood we only have about a week left uh, to check out this coaster uh, before it does go through that transition of getting a traditional chain lift so uh, be sure to get out here uh, within the next week or so to check it out well guys that's going to do it for my day here at dollywood i was so excited to get back to this park today I did not get to do everything, but I got to do basically the majority of everything that I wanted to do. Super happy, again, that I was able to get a lightning rod. Fantastic coaster. Come out here if you haven't yet to check out Dollywood. Also, if you're waiting to come out and check out lightning rod before they do the changeover, you gotta get here immediately because it changed. they close lightning rod for the season next weekend. So get out here, get a ride on lightning rod check out all the other fantastic rides here at Dollywood. Thanks for watching guys and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the Dad Coaster Co YouTube and thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh also before I go and forget about it I'm here at the trolley stop going back into Pigeon Forge. Look out for a video I'm gonna talk about how to ride the trolley from Pigeon Forge over to Dollywood so stay tuned for that. See you guys.